Gettysburg Armored Warfare is an online multiplayer game uh, with 64 players per server. It's um, an RTS FPS hybrid set in this alternate history universe where th these guys come back from the future to try to change the outcome of the Civil War by bringing futuristic technology back to help the South defeat the Union. One of the most distinguishing features of Gettysburg would probably be the RTS FPS hybrid uh, system in the game. You can essentially give orders to your units from above in an RTS perspective, which most players would be familiar with. But at any point in time, you can double click one of your units and take control of them from a traditional first person perspective. The game features 14 different unit types, everything from the USS Cairo ship, uh, the iron side ship, to um, you know, cavalry, to traditional 1860s soldiers with muskets and futuristic soldiers with machine guns, RPGs, landmines, you know, pretty much every type of weaponry you can imagine. And the player, these, these uh, units are sort of going to be balanced out, you know, with different types of numbers. So a squad of 1860s soldiers would probably have like 16 soldiers in it, whereas a, a modern squad of soldiers would have like four units in it. In addition to traditional Civil War units, the game also features some futuristic units, things like APCs, uh, mobile art artillery, um, tanks, and even zeppelins. So players will be able to take control of all types of units, and they can, they can build their own armies, featuring up to 192 units in the um, army skirmish mode. So they'll be able to control 192 units in the RTS mode, and at any point in time, jump down and take control of these units in the multiplayer game. So the game worlds are pretty big. Um, technically, they're nine squared kilometers, and uh, it, the zeppelins are pretty helpful for uh, scouting out terrain and, and sort of being like forward units. But they're also pretty useful for um, bombarding enemy units that are pretty far away. So because the game features an army builder, which allows players to sort of customize, you know, and, and choose the units they want to use, they're going to be able to develop their own individual strategies. So if a player likes to sort of play it safe and cautious, they can select units that allow them to, to sort of cater to that that play style. You know, the more aggressive players are going to want to, you know, take these fast-moving armored units and sort of support them with infantry battalions and things like that. But, um, you know, the, the army builder will allow players to sort of customize the experience to whatever play style they really want to use. Um, but the, the game does feature two prominent gameplay modes. There's the deathmatch gameplay mode and then there's the command point control or army skirmish mode where um, the, the deathmatch mode is 64 players per server with each, which, with the players sort of controlling, you know, whatever units on the battlefield they want. It's sort of like a shared uh, mode where all the units are controllable by all the players on the team. And uh, the army skirmish mode is, is a much more uh, lower player count. It's got, it's got like four players per server. And the players can build their own custom armies in that mode and, and sort of battle that out with each other. And that way, fighting for command points placed throughout the map. So I've been developing the technology for a few years now. Um, the, the game essentially supports 1,024 individually controllable units, all synchronized among 64 clients. You can um, essentially take control of these units and, and move them around. So it's a little different than games like Total War. We've got these these sort of squads of, of armies that aren't you know unique individual entities. Whereas in my technology, each unit is an actual controllable you know character model with with all its own unique attributes and things like this. So uh, some of the gameplay in Gettysburg is, is pretty experimental in terms of what we're, we're trying to do with it. You know, most, most gameplay modes in, in multiplayer games focus on lower player counts, you know, 16, you know, 24 players per server. But I think by throwing 64 players on this massive battlefield and, and sort of letting the players do whatever they want, you know, we should, we should get some uh, pretty interesting things out of it.